Hey guys, James in Vegas here. Today I want to do a quick video. It's actually a pretty exciting video for me. Um, it's the first one I've done in a while for regarding an unboxing. So this is actually going to be an unboxing. Um, quick story is I bought a, uh, what is it, a WetJet Swifter, Swiffer uh, mop and it broke on me for after about eight months. But I really enjoyed the fact that, you know, I could just mop up anytime really quick. And, um, but the thing's like $40, $50. So I'm like, well, if I get another one of those, uh, how long is it going to last? Whatever. So anyway, today's exciting because I decided to purchase a robot vacuum. So this robot vacuum, it's a D-Bot 661, I believe it is. Um, but it does vacuuming and you can also put in a mop attachment to where it'll do mopping as well. So my whole plan is since I have Stella, uh, my little dog, she leaves hair everywhere so i'm constantly sweeping the floor i'm constantly mopping the floor uh, and i figured this way to just make it a lot easier for me uh, just to have the robot vacuum just go around and vacuum all the time and then maybe once or twice a week throw in the mopping attachment and uh, have it mop the floor for me since these are like vinyl i guess they're like vinyl plank floors in here so that's my plan and I'm gonna go ahead and go through the unboxing with you and kind of give you my initial impressions of the robot uh, later on uh, a couple weeks from now maybe after the robot's been operating for a while I'll give you a good review of it and show you the operation of it as well but today's gonna to be just like an initial uh, unboxing and initial impressions of the unit itself so let's get going all right guys well this is it um, this ginormous box has the robot vacuum and robot mop in it. Um, I did order a couple other things um, just in case, you know, in the future things break or I need replacements. So this box here, I actually ordered, um, these are replacement mop pads. And uh, I guess when we open up the the vacuum, the robot, it'll you'll see kind of what they are. So these are the mop pads. I don't know if they're washable or not, if they're reusable. Um, I think they are, so I'll find out, but I got a few of these here. Um, you know, I always like to have spares on anything that I get because you just never know what breaks and what needs to be replaced and how often you can get it. Um, and then this box here, this is actually like a parts kit. So this one, it has extra brushes. Um, it has, let's see, one two, three, it has six extra brushes. And then it has just like a little filter pad, a little foam thing for the, for the filter, for the air filter. Then it has these little replacement air filter pieces. So it's got four of those and uh, two, four, six of these pieces. And then it also has a couple of extra mop pads and then a little tool like a cutter uh, brushes and then I guess that's a scraper to get hairs or whatever off the off the uh, other brushes and then just a little screwdriver to probably disassemble these things so it's always good to have spares um, with anything and um, like I was saying before with my $60 um, I think it was like 50 60 dollars for my for my wet jet, a Swifter wet jet, this thing was only, I think it was like $160 for the, for the robot. So I figure in the long run, um, it's cost effective for me to do it this way because first of all, I don't have to be the one to, to mop and sweep all the time. I mean, obviously up in the corners and things like that in this little place, I'll have to get into and do it. But like day to day, day-to-day -day maintenance and day-to-day -day mopping and day-to-day -day vacuuming um, plus with her little hair that's all I really wanted to do just so I can keep the hair up like, uh, all the time and never have it uh, accumulate so but anyway let me set these little boxes aside and then we'll open this bad boy up and see what it's all about pretty excited about it actually and uh, let me know in the comments if you've used this particular robot before or if you have any other kind of robot vacuum or what your thoughts are because um, I'd be curious this is my first one and I'm really I'm really hopeful so we'll see um, 
And right now, actually, while I'm opening this box up, if you would take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. So I do plan on bringing up more videos. Uh, I have some pretty good, in, uh, pretty interesting uh, announcements as far as like my career and my love life and everything. So uh, I'm hoping to put some of those videos on here as well. But in the meantime, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you have already, I appreciate you. And uh, the more I get, the more I'm going to make videos of. So let's go and dig in and see what we got. And of course, we got a box within a box. Let me just toss this box out of the way. So this is the uh, D-Bot Echovac D-Bot. It is uh, Alexa and um, cancel. <laughs> it is her and Google uh, compatible. Um, so it is a Wi-Fi controlled as well. So let me go and pop this one open. I believe it was a 661. I'll put a link in the description uh, on Amazon where you can find it. And I purchased this, so this wasn't like a gift or anything like that, or wasn't sent by the manufacturer or anything like that. I, this is my own money for me to, to use. But what do you know? It's another box. Packaging is so far pretty darn good, let me tell you. Yeah, way better. Okay. So this is the D-Bot 661. And then over here we've got the some of the instructions here. I don't know if you can see that, but like I said, the link to the to the product on Amazon will be here. Cause that is, that is where I got it. You know, I've, I've always been fascinated with iRobot products, but um, they're just too much money, you know. And there's a lot of options out there right now that are cost effective and the technology has has kind of um, improved to a point to where even the entry level robotic things are pretty good um, you know you might get some quality issues here and there because I think everything's made in China I think this is even in China I'm not 100 percent sure but still, I mean, the quality on, on most electronics is, is pretty similar to each other now to some degree. So let's go ahead and open this up. Packaging is really good. I mean, real solid cardboard. Um, you got this molded, I don't know, molded cardboard uh, material here as well. Uh, looks like we got the manual, which is actually pretty thick. Pretty surprised that there's a lot involved on that. Have to go through that and see uh, see what I got to do. Another foam protector for the top of the robot. Packaging is amazing. I'm really impressed with the packaging. Um, got the power cable for the charging station. Uh, here's the charger itself. And I'll take these all out as well. It looks like this is the mop reservoir. Let me just go ahead and pull these here. So it comes with the um, a pad already, and looks like it just velcroed on. So this is the mop reservoir where you put the water in it. I'll have to figure out how to do that and uh, show you. It looks like it can hold up to 300 milliliters, which for you people who drink, 750 milliliters is a bottle of wine. So. It's a little bit less than a, a bottle of wine. Uh, comes with that. It comes with that tool that I got in the kit as well. So that's good. I got an extra one of those. And then here's the uh, power adapter for the charging unit. And then here's the charging dock. Charging dock's pretty light, which, you know, honestly, wouldn't really expect it to be much more than, uh, again, mostly plastic anyway, you know, so um, you set this on your floor and the robot docks to it and charges up. So there's that and this. 
And then let's grab the, uh, the actual robot itself. A couple of brushes underneath it. I don't know if those are spares or what. But let's go ahead and set this box aside as well. Nice box. I mean, the packaging is really, I'm impressed with the packaging. Again, there's the, the packaging on it. Looks like it's got a 12-month uh, limited warranty with it. Um, looks like it's French on the front, but we'll see. It says app control, so you can control it with an app. Automatic charging. Uh, stair safety technology, anti-collision system, and scheduling, so that's good. It's also voice activated, as I mentioned before, with the uh, smart home devices. So let me take these, this off. Okay. So yeah, so these are the brushes that were underneath guessing those just snap in i don't know yep those just snap in there we go they are keyed okay and then on the bottom here we have uh a roller here that goes in all directions and then the the drive motors and then we have another um, brush there and then this is the the dust collection and this is also where you put the reservoir for the for the mop unit it goes in the same place you just remove it and put this in it in its place and this is the front of it I mean it looks nice this is pretty heavy I mean it's pretty substantial as far as weight is concerned. Um, let me go and pull this stuff off. Oh, of course it didn't come. I don't like to have these plastic stuff on it. <laughs> and of course it's staying down, so. All right, well, let's do that. I'll do that later, off camera. Let's get a tape measure and see what the sizes are. Because I know this is always what I'm asking for. So like the top dimension of it, well, that's actually a bumper. So we're looking at about 13 inches in diameter and just under, just under three and a half feet, um, three and a half feet, three and a half inches. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a better, about three and a quarter three and a quarter inches. Um, looks like this is where it does some tracking um, with the little display, or not display, but like the lens there. All right, so there's that one. And then we have, we have a bumper right here. And let's see what this comes off here. Because it's power and reset button or some sort of reset oh it's for uh i think connecting or whatever to the to the app but i'll have to double check that like i said i'm going to have a different um video that shows like the operation because i'm not going to sit here and try to learn the whole whole robot it's actually more compact than i expected um luckily because i actually want it small in here but here's the here's a good view of the bottom again and then here's the front with the with the uh, plastic off of it. And then the charger will go there and the charge contacts are right here. So it'll go and, and sit on here and, and do its thing and charge until it's time to uh, go mop or go vacuum. So anyway, like I said, uh, this is my first robot. And uh, actually, I guess it's my first robot anything. But this is my first robot vacuum. And uh, if you've used one before, if you have any recommendations, comments, uh, if you know of another brand that you like or anything like that, 
uh, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. And uh, if you have, want more information on this one, it's a DBOT 661, uh, which does the vacuuming as well as the mopping. Uh, there'll be a link in the description of this video and you're welcome to click on it, take a look. And again, I purchased this with my own money, so uh, just gonna see how it works. I hope it picks up all the dog hairs that Stella leaves. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. Have a good day.